That was my dream to open a cooking school. And... I have a red nose on the front of my car. <laughs> and so the homeless people know that it's me. And when they need anything, they um, actually flag down my car. And also they look out for me when I go into a neighborhood that's maybe not the best. <laughs> so where are you going to take this food? This food is going to go down to 4th Street. There's a there's a little parking lot across from Bartlett Park where there's a laundromat and that's where we stop every Saturday afternoon. My name is Karen Steenemeyer. I was born in Brooklyn, New York in 1958. And I grew up in New England and I just spent the last 40 years living in Germany. And one of the reasons I wanted to return to the States after living abroad for so long is to do volunteer work here and give back to the community, something I miss doing um, when you live in a system where actually part of the taxes you pay um, go towards helping people in need, which isn't the case here. But I always have food and water and blankets and towels and snacks in my car. And anytime I see somebody, I just stop pull over in the middle of the road and get out and give them something to eat and make sure they're okay and see what they need. I think that many of us are only one or two checks away from where these people are and um, we tend to forget that and I myself have had my trials and tribulations with bankruptcy and addiction and other various unhappy times in my life and I've always had somebody to support me or a program to support me or something and I know how hard it is and if you give people a chance to help themselves then they can maybe have a chance at changing their future. I think it has to be together. I, I think that the time bank and other volunteers and, and donors are, are, are filling a need but I also think that there has to be a cooperation. As I said before, if somebody's entitled to a benefit, whether they're a veteran or disabled or whatever the reason is, you know, I have one of the, one of the ladies I care for, she can receive um, food stamps, but they told her she has to prove that she has no income. So it, you've lived on the street for seven years. How do you prove you have no income? <laughs> People are like, don't trust them. And I'm like, that's not true. I deal with these people. I look them in the eye. I know a thing or two about addiction. And I know people's stories. And the, the thing I give them most is their dignity. You know, touching their arm when I give pass something out to them, giving them a hug, you know, things that people won't do anymore. And, and that's just, I always have a smile and I don't know, it's just, it has to be in your heart. And all these things like the time bank and everything else, it's just, you gotta do it, you gotta feel it. And people say to me, you're doing God's work. And I'm like, I'm non-religious. I, I do humanitarian work. And that's important to me. I'm not doing it for a reward, but I, I keep saying to people, that could be me. And boy, would I be glad if somebody helped me in that situation. Edgar Kahn wrote this book, There's No Such Thing as a Disposable Human Being. And that's so true. We all have value. Even if you live on the street, you have value. You're important. You're part of our society. We're all part of this living organism. We're all one. And we have to remember that. And that is my goal. You can donate your time. You can do various things you can do within the community that will help, that will give that smile to keep us the community building. We all need each other. The youth, the seniors, the middle-aged, all that. We all need to come together and help each other out because we can all teach each other something. Solutionaries needs you to be part of the conversation. Your comments below will help us tackle new topics and track down solutions. And don't forget to subscribe.